what's ironic is a lot of these chai fi brands like they market themselves as being like the best bang for your buck like oh my god you can get great sound for for like literally nothing but the actual champions of budget IMs are being held by the the title is being are being held by the MH755 and probably to certain extent the E500 because this is from what I remember is $20 and that's cheap for something with the technical prowess as this there though there is nothing that could outshine the sony image 755 at least for now for the best bank for your buck this is like literally five dollars and you can mod them mcx and make them like a million times better like more functional much much more functional this is the final video for the final haha uh, pun intended final budget IM reviews like out of the four of these there is actually quite a few more budget final IMs like the heaven twos I get I, heaven twos yes or the f3 100 I don't think that's in the budget threshold but the heaven two is definitely still at the budget threshold but it's quite difficult to find the heaven twos around here so this is going to be the final episode of the series which is the final e500 the newest out of all the e final e series lineup which i have already reviewed before i review this i am right now the tldr it's simple it's it's a very surprisingly good in the technical aspect it has a very good sound stage very uh, great imaging and separation and layering surprisingly good at that though it's not a very detailed i am that's the technical aspect that it's not uh, surprisingly good at the tuning itself for me left a bit to be desired due to to me they sound linear not in a headphone linear way but more to a speaker type of linear which is just linear just flat just nothing flat line frequency response it has pain again but not quite enough like far from enough pain again it has that kind of it has like a you know it doesn't it doesn't have enough treble it doesn't also have enough air for me because i love air frequencies yeah the only thing this have like the perfect amount is the bass Yeah, this have better bass than the E1000, definitely. This have like about the same amount of bass as the Tinti 2s. If you like that kind of bass response, this definitely um, could deliver that kind of bass response. Very uh, rumbly focused. Okay, uh, that's the TLDR. The build is the same as the E1K. It's other crap everything made of made of plastic this thing looks and feels fragile as hell i don't know if they actually break easily or not i would not tug on this wire the um, the build is very similar though though the e1000 i the e500 i don't know if you can see it is uh, a, a bit uh, skinnier than the e uh, 1000 in diameter it's like e1000 having a diet the design is very similar everything it's with the l-shaped cables l-shaped 3.5 millimeter and almost the same as the other budget finals though the uh, e2000 and e3000 have uh, 
much more softer and better cable than this so yeah that's it for the build quality for sound quality the bass i've mentioned before is very linear it's like the e1k but it has more power has more dynamics have more hit kick and slam and rumble than the e1000 though they both measure the same i could when i listen to the music by yoshihiro kawa wandering the title wandering i can hear that bass hits that bass hits with the with the rumble and behind like after the initial hits they're like a rumble like a sub bass rumble i can hear them clearly with the e500 though i can't on the e1k i really love the bass response here so basically it's definitely the the best among the freighted trifecta the mid-range is is sorry for about that is natural but it's not natural to me at least it's it's not boosted anywhere i mean it's if anything it's lacking boosting at the upper mid-range and like it's it basically lacks pin again that's the big issue about the mid-range here vocal sounds uh, veiled if i could say it sounds veiled it's warm but veiled sounding i am to me they just sound veiled they sound hazy they sound low res low resolution Co comparing the the mids with the bass the mids just sound low resolution that's that's it the it's like when you're looking for when you're seeing a picture like a badly printed picture you'll know that it's like low resolution that's the kind of a mid-range that i that's easily been to explain to you it's it's kind of hazy it's kind of veiled sounding the top end of the uh the treble is the treble is like the mid-range not enough in the treble proper it's just as not enough as uh, the e1k is at the treble air though at the treble proper this is far less treble there i guess less much less treble there the mids is let me get back to the mids for a bit the mids is actually very very similar to the e1k it, yeah the e1k though this sound a bit more veiled than the e1k uh, yeah if you remember i mentioned something about being hazy like foggy like misty in the e1k but it's very similar here also uh yeah i guess that's for the treble i don't have a lot of things to say about that it's just pretty mediocre actually the mid-range and the treble for um, tonality and timbre these don't have that kind of straining sound of the e1k uh, that very very tiny mild straining these sound very dynamic driver very it's not very thick it's a bit thicker than the e1k um, they sound a bit richer though they they do sound a bit more veiled though the um Uh, tonality is also not the best especially in the um, upper mid the on the um, more treble focused instrument female vocals also t took a hit like uh, especially female vocals to take a hit due to the uh, lack in pina gain and the lack of treble also kills it a bit on the um what do you call that like treble focus instrument like cymbals or percussions or something like that 
so not the best in my opinion the tonality and timbre um continuing with the technicality aspect i i did the tonalities overall it's not very good especially for for my taste also it's not very good um for my um genetics i guess my ear shape and ear canal it's not the most natural sounding i am it's a bit too muted um for the um pure technicality aspect like the sound stage imaging separation and layering is phenomenal for its price range it's like it's almost as good as the e2 case and the e3 case that's it it's almost very very similar like capabilities wise it's 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 almost as good probably not in the width versions it's not probably not as grand sounding due to the lack in treble but definitely something notable when you listen to complex music you'll definitely notice that this have a very excellent imaging separation and sound stage that's and that's very surprising coming from a $20 IM like this. Detail retrieval is not the best. Transients are okay. It's it's it's, it's fine. It's 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 pretty fast. It's pretty dynamic. It's not like it's not undynamic. It's not undynamic. <laughs> and it's it's undynamic. It's, it's not lacking in dynamics like in the E1 case, definitely. So yeah, I would recommend this more than the E1K, I guess. If you're if you're okay with that kind of muted treble and the upper mid range lack of pina gain, this is definitely a consideration. Okay, now for comparison. Against the E1K, I already meant I already made a, quite a comparison, but for the E1K in the review, so I won't uh, just say it over again. I won't mention it over again. The E2 case is a quite a different type of tuning, while this is a more linear sound. This is more a V-shaped sound. I much prefer the E2 case due to the better amount of pina gain and um, and more uh, treble extension here and the technicality aspect is also a bit better especially in details in the e2 case and the e3 case so yeah i would prefer the e2k much more than the e500 but i would say just get them both because they are both very cheap i mean the the e2 the e500 is very cheap so it's very phenomenal also being that cheap against the e3 case it's like the e2 case but with more bass and less treble the treble region is very similar here while the treble region is very similar between the e1k and the e2 case the e500 and the e3 case are very similar in treble response the upper mid range is also sounds a bit similar both are quite muted for my taste but they're both still fantastic for a lot of people out there especially the e3k it seems to be like the fan favorite i don't know why i personally like the e2k more because they produce much more um enjoyable sound i guess like natural sound rather than these two though iron ironically th these are more v-shaped than arguably these two i mean these are like neutral with bass boost and this is just like neutral against the blano freeze this is quite the, the interesting um combat between tonality like tuning wise and the technicality aspect 
because in sound stage and image layering this thing smokes the Blano Freeze like no tomorrow. I would I would advise you to get both of them. I mean the Blano Freeze yeah, you don't need a replacement cable. I know this thing is shit. The cable here is shit. I made fun about the blonde cable like a ton. But you don't actually need replacement cable. They sound just great with the with the um, original cable. Then use your money that you, you'd buy the, the replacement cable and buy this instead. I think that's a better use of your money. Or buy the ME755. Yeah. Against the Tinty 2s. I'd prefer the Tinty 2s like a lot more. This, these, these two have very similar um, technical capabilities though the Tinty 2 edges out more on the uh, the grandness the, the tallness of the stage the detail retrieval is also more better here the treble extension is also better here though the imaging and separation capabilities is much better here on the final e500 though tuning wise i'd far prefer the tinty twos they sound very more linear more open sounding more um, grander sounding cymbals instruments sound more natural here because they have proper extension at the top end so to me i would still prefer the tinty twos but this is like more than twice as expensive as this so if you'd have the choice to buy the Tinty 2s or the Blonde plus this, that's your that's, that's a dish, decision for you to make. I'd prefer, I personally would just buy the Tinty 2s because I'm, the Tinty 2 sound just speak to me in a peculiar way. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Again, something like the SSR, it's, it, these two are a polar opposite they're both marketed as a natural sounding i am but these this is too shouty well this is too shouty this is not shouty enough but i i can see like a lot of people just a lot of people keep saying oh my god this sounds very natural oh my god the ssr is the most natural sounding i am ever oh like oh yeah it kind of depends on the ergonomics of the inside of your ear, I guess. What do you perceive natural? And there is also something called placebo. When you buy something, and you, you oh my god, you're gonna make yourself love them just to make you feel good. Like you waste your money on something good. Or good, to be exact. This they both have excellent technicality prowess though this is like three times as expensive as the e500 though though this have these all have better build quality and doesn't suffer from qc issues such uh, like the i think they but no no Mo moon drop has quite some qc issues uh more especially on the filter or the cable or the, the, the pin here so yeah it's a toss-up really you want more shout or you want not enough shout if you're looking for that perfect shout i don't know man good enigmatics the uh, i'd prefer the shout here also but and the shout here also and yeah you you get the picture okay the zs10 pros is also a very different tuning um if you want just v-shaped sound you don't need it to, to sound coherent you don't need it to sound natural you don't need it to sound proper i guess the zs10 pro is a very solid pick it has decent detail retrieval capabilities though it's not it's not what i would prefer anything to sound like 
but if you want an entry level V shape, this is actually still a contender. Sadly, I mean, we can't come up with something better. Oh my God. Like KZ's need to step up, man. Like this, this was good. This was good. And when the, when this came out, this was good, but now you can do better. You see MA755, it's simple, buy both of them. They're both great, both different, but both great. Okay, that's it for the video for the E500. Uh, it's quite a shorter one, but yeah, it's not. This is the conclusion of the final line now. Which one would you buy? It's like, it's up to you, man. All of them are great. All of them are great. It's depend it depends on your preference. But that's for the video. Hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna put Jason's video right here. See you next time and Godspeed.